Welcome to Keys of the Crown presented by Crown Royal, joined by NFL Network, fantasy football, jack of all trades. He knows everything. Marcus Grant. I'm Aaron Summers. We are headed into championship weekend here for fantasy football. Marcus, who are some of the players that have impressed you through the playoffs? Uh, well, a couple of guys. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is always very impressive. You're, you're not really surprised by that. Dalvin Cook has really stepped up when you needed him to in the postseason. Maybe the most surprising guy, I mentioned Patrick Mahomes. It might be his teammate, Jarek McKinnon, who we didn't really talk about all year long. It was a lot of Clyde edwards Delaire. It was Isaiah Pacheco. Was so many other guys there in Kansas City. But the last few weeks, we've really seen Jarek McKinnon step up as both a runner and a receiver. So if you somehow were fortunate enough to snag him off the waiver wire, he's probably carried you into championship week. Speaking of those waiver wires, who are we looking at to, to take us to the championship, give us the trophy? Well, at this point, if you're playing the waiver wire, you are playing guys that you are probably going to start this week. So Elijah Moore is back in play. Now that we know that Mike White's coming back to be the starter for the Jets, they've got a good matchup against the Seahawks. So I think you can go with Elijah Moore. Uh, James Cook, who's starting to see some more work in that Buffalo backfield as the Bills are trying to run the football more in the cold weather. So he's in play. And Look, if you have a quarterback that, that you lost the, during the week, now you know, maybe you didn't have Jalen Hurts last week, maybe you lost somebody else. Uh, Brock Purdy is another one. Tua Tonga Vailoa is uh, in the concussion protocol, so we'll see if he's available. But Brock Purdy has been playing very well for the San Francisco 49ers and has a good matchup this week against the Las Vegas Raiders. You mentioned matchups. Who are some of the players that you like because of their matchups? Uh, one is Tyler Algier, the rookie running back for the Atlanta Falcons. They've got the Cardinals this week, and the Cardinals have been pretty awful against the run all year long. And Algier's starting to see some more opportunities there. Uh, Zach Moss going against the New York Giants. That's a big game for the Giants, but their run defense has been pretty leaky. And considering how bad the Colts quarterback play has been over the last several weeks, regardless of who's under center, I think they're going to lean on the run a little bit more. So Zach Moss, another guy who's been a, a really helpful waiver wire pickup for folks, could really help you through. The Saints this week, they are going to be in Philadelphia. Weather looks a little bit warmer, although it looks like it might <laughs> rain. So that could be something that we're keeping an eye on. Who are some of the players that you definitely want to start, sit, and then a sleeper for that one? Well, I think for the Eagles, all their stars are in play, right? You've seen their wide receivers, A.J. Brown and Devonta Smith, be very good. Jalen Hurts says that he wants to come back and play. If he goes, I think you're going to start him. On the Saints side, it was nice to see Alvin Kamara get in the end zone a little bit. So mm -hmm. he's definitely back in play. Uh, we'll see what's up with Chris. Olave, Jawan Johnson. So all the, I think it's all the usual suspects this week. I don't know that this is a week uh, with your Super Bowl on the line that you're really going to go out and, and try to be really tricky. You're going to go and play the best guys that you have in your roster. It was definitely good to see Alvin Kamara get into the end zone and your guy, tight end Jawan Johnson, got there as well. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us. It has been a pleasure to have you all season long on Fantasy Football Keys to the Crown. <laughs>